Normally, there's not much baseball happening at the youth, high school, or even cottage level during the fall. That's not the case in Cedar Rapids. For the past decade, Michael Neal and Mount Mercy head coach Jack Dom have had the Mount Mercy Fall League. When the league first started, both O'Neill and Dom wanted it to be different than the summer leagues. About 12 years ago, um, I started the program um, when my son was playing um, baseball and wanted to continue to play. Uh, we first started out with uh, six teams uh, and has since grown that program. Um, about 10 years ago, Coach Dom and I met at Mount Mercy to discuss the opportunity to partner with the baseball team and Parks and Rec to offer a fall baseball program. Our vision was to have a tournament-like atmosphere without the tournament pressure. In my role with Parks and Rec, I saw about 10 U-Triple-S-A tournaments over the summer that I saw the children walk in and carrying the, we the weight of the world on their shoulders from the pressure of the tournament. When I met with Mike when I got the job at Mount Mercy because I had seen my oldest son, Casey, didn't have the opportunities to play in the, in the fall. And uh, my younger son, Tyler, was playing in the fall league that Mike was, that Mike was running. And I just saw how it was going to be able to grow and the enthusiasm and the passion that Mike had for youth baseball. The league is open to kids ages 8 to a senior in high school. And some families travel as far as 30 miles to attend. It starts the week before Labor Day and goes until mid-October. Another unique part about it is we actually have time limits. So the games will start at 9 and be done at 1045. Drop dead date, you know, drop dead time, which the parents enjoy. Um, also, we keep the games close uh, where it's either five runs or seven hitters in any. Um, so it just speeds the game up also and you don't get those 20 to nothing games. The part that separates us probably, and Mike always talks about this, is the fact that we have free agent teams. So kids can, you know, if you have one or two kids that don't have a team to play for, they can sign up and then they'll play for a team with, that our players will coach. So I think that's something that's really separated. And then what happens is those kids have fun and then they get their team to sign up the following year. Bye, Max. All the money that is made from the Fall League goes straight to the Mount Mercy baseball program. The team uses it for equipment, travel, and so much more. The Mustang players also play a major role in the league, helping set up the fields before and after every game. They also umpire and some of them do coach. Probably the, the funniest thing is how nervous our players are when they have to when they have to umpire a game. You know, they, they've never done it before, so you can see that nervous energy. Uh, you know, about two, three weeks into it, they, they get a lot more comfortable, and they actually look forward to it. They enjoy um, the energy that the kids bring out here. It's not easy, and when we all get back there and have to umpire ourselves, it gives us a appreciation for how hard it really is for those umpires. So it gives us a whole other level of respect. And then coaching, obviously, some of us will go on to do that later, so it gives us a little head start to get a feel for what that's going to be like and, you know, get to interact with the kids and make lineups and stuff, so that's really cool to get to do. Nearly 1,300 families have signed up for the Fall League this year, and Coach Dom feels the league is just scratching the surface. The important thing for the players, the families, staff, and even the Mount Mercy players is to remember the main message, just have fun. We've got sometimes kids get so much pressure on them, our players and the kids during the summer, that you, it's win at all costs. And you know we need to make them realize that we have got to have fun. You, you've been in our facility, and our, our motto is win the day, attitude, effort, and shake and bake. And that's what shake and bake means. It means fun. When I played in high school, it wasn't as big as it is now, but it really just gave me the appreciation for everything that goes into this league behind all the guys that are out here helping. And honestly, in my opinion, I was just the most excited to be out here and help all these kids you know we get a big support from eastern iowa to really help our program and it's just fun to see everyone out here having fun not a lot of pressure out here just kids getting to enjoy the game